that's not it. Um, wait, wait. No. No, that's not it either. Oh. There we go. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, Final Cut. And yes, we're looking at the picture that's finally here. This is like the film that I've been waiting for all summer, really. Out of all the films, this is the one that I was like, deliver it to me, Guillermo. And he does, and it's Pacific Rim. The story set in a future where we have kaiju versus Jaegers. That's right, kaijus are big beasts coming through a dimensional rift that's in the ocean. And Jaegers are big robots the humans have built to fight these monsters. Well, they just started winning the war against these monsters. But as it wages on, the humans are starting to find more and more setbacks. And we get a trainee, a rookie, as well as a veteran soldier pilot who get into an older model of a Jaeger to help try save the world from the coming apocalypse of alien beasties. Really, not a deep plot film, okay? As you may have guessed from the trailer. Now, you know what? You, you can't to compare this to like a uh, Oscar winning film. This isn't. This is a popcorn summer blockbuster film that delivers on so many levels. Okay, it did not disappoint me at all. I was kind of worried going in because I did have some high expectations. I'm like, all right, bring it, Del Toro. And he brings it. Folks, this speaks not only to the geeks out there in the world, but to anyone who loves a Harryhausen film or a good Godzilla monster flick. Let's face it, big screen monster films have not done well at the box office. Why? Because people just haven't quite got it. Guillermo del Toro gets it. He wraps up the tropes we get from apocalypse films with monster films, mashes them together in a visual spectacle that you have to see on the big screen to believe, okay? I mean, you get a group of people here who pretty much... You, Names you most likely not recognize, except Ron Perlman, whose character is hilarious and also an amalgamation of every cliche type of character uh, that he plays ever. Once you see him, you're like, oh yeah, folks, this is an ode film. Pacific Rim is an ode film to those monster films. It's an honest film. It's not lying about what it is. It has no illusion to what type of film it is. It plays to its strengths, and its strengths are big-ass robots fighting big-ass monsters, okay? And those fights are amazing. These are fights that Michael Bay has wet dreams about. He wishes he could direct action sequences this good. There's only a few parts with the three distraction where it gets a little dark, but this 3D in here was not distracting at all in all the very kinetic fight scenes that went on. Folks, this, the destruction in this film made Man, the end of Man of Steel look tame in comparison, all right? But you're going to get that when you get big beasties and big robots fighting. Look, have you, if you ever watched one of those Ray Harryhausen, like the, the Journey to Sinbad films and the Godzilla films, this is speaking to those. This is an ode to those. It's not a ripoff. People say, oh, well, this ripped off many. No, there's a difference between a ripoff and an ode film, okay? It's a fine line, but it's true. This film is an ode film. It doesn't, it's got no illusion at all. That, of what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. And it's great to see. And it's, it, you know, I, the only complaint I might have with the film is the fact we saw so many clips before the movie uh, that you did get to see uh, some chunks of the more exciting parts. But there's other parts you didn't get to see on the web that you have to see, especially getting down to the final climax of this film. Let's also talk about the fact this is speaking to the inner geeks out there because you get Ellen McLean. Those of you who don't recognize the name, she She's the voice of GLaDOS from the Portal games. Yes, she's the voice of the AI and the Jaeger. If you haven't picked that up, the minute you hear that, you know what they're going for. They're not ripping off sci-fi films and big monster films. They're paying tribute to these. And you even get that at the very end credits. There's a nice little tribute. Folks, Pacific Rim is beautiful visually and 
uh, audibly, uh, the, the, the music that you can hear in between the big monster fights was fantastic. Raman uh, Jawadi, uh, who did the music, I do believe, for Game of Thrones, did the music for this, and it was a fitting component for this film. Look, there's also character development in here. There is some character development. Now, we may have seen some of these characters before, but they're all put together in one group, and it was great to see. I really think uh, Iridis, uh, Idris... Elba, uh, sorry, uh, mis I mispronounced that name, uh, as the uh, Stacker Pentecost, as the chief, uh, uh, the marshal. Oh, I loved his performance. It was great. Uh, very strong character. Uh, and I just liked it. I buy into that he was this marshal. Um, no, you're not going to Pacific Rim. It's not going to win an Academy Award for for fantastic depth and wonderful performances. What this is going to win is the Oscar of my heart, which it did, okay? There's problems with it. Yes, there's plot holes. Yes, in any film, you can go to Star Trek Into Darkness, which everybody goes, like, oh, and you will see plot holes there. In every film, there's plot holes. And this one does have it. But you don't care because this is an old school Ray Harryhausen uh, Godzilla Toho production old film okay go see it it's fun it's exciting it's not too dark you can even probably take some of the younger fare to it not too young because they might get scared of the monster films like five stubs from me okay even with some of the issues i had with the plot and some of the cliches you got going that's what it's supposed to have. It's an old film. It's a send-up film. It's a tribute film, folks. And I give props totally for Guillermo del Toro bringing a picture like this to the big screen. And I really think you should go see it. Definitely worth it, especially in the 3D. Best 3D I've ever seen. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that tickets down.